everybody, it's Positive Bluebird. Welcome back to Fun Fact Friday. It is a sad day on March 15th, 2018, where I have just learned from Graveyard Girl, another YouTuber that I've been following around for a couple of years now here on YouTube. Um, I guess she and Dogman, her husband, went shopping. It's a follow me around video. I will link that in the description box down below. But it's a sad day. They are closing down all 800 stores. And according to Wikipedia, I did not know that Toys R Us has been around since 1957. And in 1948, it started as Lazarus Furniture Store. So that is the last name to Charles Lazarus, hence the name Toys R Us. Um, it says he added toys to his offering and eventually shifted his focus and the company has been in the toy business for more than 65 years and operates around 800 stores in the United States and around 800 outside the U.S. although these numbers are steadily decreasing with time. Toys R Us has experienced an expansion as a chain, becoming predominant in its niche field of toy retail, represented by cartoon mascot Jeffrey the Giraffe from 1969. Toys R Us eventually branched out into launching its stores, Baby R Us, or Babies R Us, I remember that store, and the now defunct Kids R Us. The company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the U.S. on September 18, 2017, and has also filed for bankruptcy protection in Canada. They have stated their stores will continue to operate, but nevertheless announced the liquidation and closure of 382 locations, at least half of these Babies R Us locations. Liquidation sale events are likely expected to occur in additional Toys R Us stores. Sadly, on March 15, 2018, it was announced that Toys R Us is officially going out of business and liquidating all 800 stores in the U.S. starting May 14, 2018. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you've been a big fan of Toys R Us, if you've had any problems with them, um, if you're going to miss them, um, what are your experiences with Toys R Us? Do you have any great memories of one of the first toys or many toys that you have bought from Toys R Us? I'll be honest, I don't really remember a whole lot because we did most of our shopping at Target back in the 80s um, and Kmart. <laughs> um, and my mother bought my two Cabbage Patch dolls from Target back in 1985, I believe. And the line wrapped around Target and each doll was going for about $75 a piece. Sadly, when we went homeless last year, I left them behind and I did find the two original dolls um, online, so I'm going to hopefully purchase them by next Christmas. Um, and then, you know, they do sell, I believe, a lot of these, um, I forgot, but these are teeny babies, right? Or beanie babies? Yeah, teeny babies. This one says teeny ties. But um, I'm not monetizing this video and I'm not advertising by any means, but I'm just um, showing a few of these toys that are just so cute and they're from my son's closet. Um, but it's a sad day, you guys. I feel really, really sad for all of the employees around the world that um, are now having to leave a job that they probably really enjoyed and loved. Um, it's just, when you see so many of these things happening, it's it's heartbreaking, it really is. It truly is heartbreaking. I was sad 10 years ago here in Colorado when I saw Marie Callender's go out of business and my family and I used to love eating there, although they do sell a lot of their food still in the frozen aisle at the grocery store. Um, who knows, maybe they'll, um, Toys R Us will probably do some online stuff. I really don't know enough about it. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this. Do you feel that the 
devices of social media are taking over. Sadly, I kind of think it is, but let me know your own opinion and follow the link down below to Graveyard Girl and break out your box of tissues, everybody. It is going to be heartbreaking because she's going to be like purchasing a few toys and it's kind of like an end to an era. Peace out and stay positive, everyone.